good morning. It's a new day. There is a welcome new addition to this set. Jane Pauley has a chance now to say a few words of her own. But every story I've seen begins by noting that a year and a half ago, Jane Pauley was a second string newsreader in Indianapolis. That's fact. I'm Jane Pauley reporting at the supermarket. Channel 8 News, the nightcap edition, a summary of world, national, and local news developments. There were no women in that newsroom at the time, and the pressure was on to find one. I certainly fit the description. And three years later, NBC came to Indianapolis with a new job offer. I became the first woman to co-anchor a nightly newscast in Chicago. Richard Nixon believes the Watergate affair was just a stupid mistake and that presidents before him have done worse. We're delighted to have you here, Jane, and we're looking forward to having you here regularly for a long time. I hope to be here regularly for a long time. Uh, nobody is likely to remember 1989 as the year the Today Show made a crew change. It has been a very remarkable year for me, and next year promises to be pretty interesting, too. Now, from our studios in New York, here are Stone Phillips and Jane Pauley. Welcome to our first show. Stone and I will be here every Tuesday night at 10 with stories of our times. They say it's, it's a killing. What a hard thing it is for an eight-year-old to understand. Her own mother is trying to find another mother. Sometimes any mother's arms will do. An American hero comes home, Captain Scott O'Grady in his first primetime interview. First order of business is to get out of sight. Yeah. Second order of business, lie immobile for however, however long you have to. Oh, I thought you were talking about after I... all this press. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. <laughs> You're greater. <laughs> you must have been insufferable teenagers. No, all of you was insufferable. No friends. Time it was and what a time it was, it was. A time of innocence, a time of confidence and 